Hey guys, okay, so I am chilling in deep in Central Park. That's a little Alice in Wonderland mushroom lake with a little miniature remote control uh, sailboats. And this is the tree I come to sometimes to do uh, some meditation some and read some books. Um, anyway, I wanted to share with you this tablet that I've been getting into and deciphering and seeing it in my own my own light. It's called the Orphic. Let me put this down over here. Ah, sit my ass down. Whew. This spot's beautiful. Nice. Alright, so this is called the Isiac Tablet, Bembean Table of Isis. I believe this is the true Orphic cosmogony. It can lead you to the true Orphic cosmogony, okay? Now, there's a few things you have to remember. First of all, this was made, modeled by Eliphas Levy, uh, based on the Eleusinian Mysteries, okay? Now, everything in this is a key, of course, that you have to read in a certain, um, in your own way. And I truly believe everyone has a unique insight to all that is occult and mysterious. What's up, Birdie? Anyway, um, one thing you have to see over here, if you recognize the base of all of these triangles, the base of all these triangles, these are always and have always been your fixed stars. This is the fixed const uh, um, constellations, the fixed zodiac, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. This is all the basis of security. These are all the secure, fixed uh, archetypes living inside of your DNA, living inside of your personality. All right, uh, fixed Earth will always be Taurus. All right, that's your <laughs> that's your Taurians out there. Your fixed Air will always be your stubborn but super smart Aquarians. And we all have the Aquarius and Taurus archetypes in us, even though it might not be that strong, depending what planets you have there. Uh, the Leo archetype, very, very passionate, fiery, um, emotional, the star of the show, <laughs> the show called Life. Scorpio, fixed emotions, super, super deep, occulty emotions, um, secretive sometimes. Scorpios, that's the eagle, the snake, and the scorpion. All right, so again, this is balanced out though with Capricorn and Pisces. Okay, so you can break down anything into a trinity, all right? Once you realize that all comes from, let's see, you have a circle, all right, in the center. So if this is, let's just say God consciousness, let's just connect that. If this is God consciousness, okay, um, at the center, again, everything you wanna go to the center on the physical plane, that's what people in this truth movement are doing. And inside yourself, inside yourself is always key. You have to go to the center of yourself to unlock your chakras. And anyone out there that says, oh, you get rid of your chakras, they're dangerous, they're this and that, they're evil. They can, you can manifest uh, spirits or entities from your chakras. Get, why don't you get rid of your fucking brain too? I don't understand. You can't get, you don't want to get rid of your chakras. You need to build a foundation in your chakras. You need to make sure they spin the right way. You need to make sure the energy is being shifted. Go into the shadows of yourself and make your shadows stronger. All right? Don't always act and react upon the dark side of you. But know where it exists. You set the boundaries. You always set the boundaries. And this is truly what the Orphic cosmogony is based on. It's not just the outside material, what's outside your body. It's the same thing mimicked inside. All right, look at this triangle. This is Apis Noir. Apis Noir. All right, it's Serapis. Serapis is the, um, the model of, of the Christos Christ model. It comes from Serapis, all right? And it was all taken from... Egyptology, e e Egyptian. So basically, it's not Judeo-Christian, it's Egypto-Christian. Always was, always will be. Um, look at this. This is black, this is white. 
okay? Going upwards. This is your maternal energy, okay? That's your maternal energy going upwards. Um, this is your paternal energy coming downwards. This is white, apis blanc, the triple hecate, hecate and serapis, okay? And apis is Isis, represented by the bull, Taurus. This is the side of you that, um, if you look down over here, the triangle going down, it's paternal, it's divine wisdom, okay? So think of Saturn, Jupiter, and the moon. So that's Satananda, Satan, all right? And you have Jupiter over here, which is Zeus, Thor, all right, G uh, Zeus. And then you have the moon, Luna, Diana, even uh, Isis and, and, and um, Lilith. There's so many different archetypes. The, the mother divine magnetic, the white light, magnetism is the moon. This is the divine wisdom. That's what I call divine wisdom triangle going down. Going up would be you have Mars, Venus, and Mercury. All colored, all going up. That's Apis Noir. Now think about what's this and this. What's the difference? Well, don't forget. These are the two fatherly archetypes, and it's yoding, yod, like a bucket, like what I have. It's the, 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 the triangle point is pointing to the moon. All right? Now, when the sperm meets the egg, you have the Saturn, which is your father, biological father. Always. In your birth chart, if you look at Saturn, Saturn is and will always be the biological father. The guy who shot you out of his nuts. That's your daddy. Okay, um, the moon will always be mother, moon, mom. All right, moon day, based on the menstrual cycle. It's mother, it's the womb, it's the soma. Anything that's psychosomatic comes from the moon. These archetypes control everything. That's why they call them the gods. All right, this would be more divine, coming down, the divine wisdom coming down into the body. See how it's penetrating, like the binary code going in. All right. Well, this is actually the triangle down would look like the feminine. It's both. It's a both. It's a mix. It's the dance of the finite dancing with the infinite. Masculine dancing with feminine. You can do anything with these dualities. You can die and split anything because a split is a division. It's part of a death. Okay. And with that division, automatically comes creation. Automatically. Look, I didn't get to it. Look, the circle right there with the point. By the way, that represents the sun. But let's just say it represents source. Once source goes in and to the consciousness, and it's going to create like this. Look. Boom. Automatically. Pretend these are two even circles. I'm sorry, guys. Um, automatically, now that you have a division, a split, now you have a vesica Pisces created. So a trinity was just created by doing a duality. All coming from a singularity. Okay, it's a singularity point. The singularity point